Welcome to this installment of Sugar CRM Tutorials for AtCore Systems. Today, we will focus on the installation and setup of the G-Link Chrome extension. The G-Link module was created to address issues with integrating Sugar CRM with the Gmail system. There have been similar extensions created in the past. However, due to Gmail updates and lack of updates from the developers, they have become obsolete. In order to take advantage of the G-Link extension, you will need to use Google's Chrome browser. Before we continue, make sure you have your G-Link license key and the latest installation of Chrome. If you need to purchase the extension, then head to the AtCore system site and complete a transaction. You will need your Sugar CRM URL. Secure URLs are supported. Once you have this information, we can proceed. Let's go ahead and open Chrome. Google has made changes to how extensions are added to Chrome, so we will cover this new method here. Head to chrome.google.com slash webstore and search for G-Link. Once located, click the Add to Chrome button. In the pop-up box, click Add. Chrome takes over after that, and the process only lasts a few seconds. Once the process has completed, you will notice a new G icon in the top right corner of your browser. Go ahead and click on this, and then select Settings. Once on the Settings page, you will see two buttons at the top. If you still need to purchase a license, the link right here on the G-Link settings page will take you to the AtCore site to complete a transaction. If you would like to have a user guide to read along with, then click on User Guide to be taken to the link on the AtCore system site. Next, you will need to enter your G-Link license key, your Sugar CRM username, and your Sugar CRM password. After that, there are two options. The first option is the Disable Archiving pop-up. This will remove the archiving pop-up message that occurs whenever you send an email. The second option is to disable the Mail View menu. Selecting this will disable the G-Link menu that appears on the right side when you're in the detail view of a message. Next, you can select the domains that you would like to exclude from G-Link. Just enter any domain in the box and click Remove Domain. If you need to add additional domains, then click Add More Domains here. Once done, click Save Settings. You will now see a box appear at the top informing you of a successful connection. You can confirm this by clicking on the G icon. This will automatically test the connection and give you another confirmation that everything is working properly. Once done, close and then reopen the browser to make sure everything is completed successfully. We will now move on to email archiving. Email archiving is built into the extension based on how email is used by the user. This feature can be navigated through seamlessly and with minimal distraction from the overall task at hand. As an example, the user will compose or reply to an email and click send. Once the user clicks send, the G-Link extension will find any records that match the email address in the to, BCC, and CC fields and present these matches so the user can choose which record to attach the activity. Once the pop-up displays, the user can choose to archive this to multiple records or leave it be. Once your message has been sent, you will see a confirmation link at the top. Clicking on this link will take you to your Sugar CRM installation and the contact that you just created. G-Link provides a great method to determine if those contacts in your emails already exist in records within Sugar CRM. This feature allows for instant client management without the hassle of tracking each email opportunity and then manually adding them into Sugar CRM each day. To view this function, click on an existing email record within Gmail. G-Link will show a menu on the right-hand side of the page, which lists the names of each person included in the email, along with a G-Link menu button for each. G-Link will automatically determine the type of record within Sugar CRM that matches the name and email address. It will then display the relevant details if the record already exists within Sugar CRM. An account badge will be shown if the record is already linked to an account. The G-Link menu button provides the options to create a contact, opportunity, or case, as well as view and convert a lead. If you choose to create an opportunity, then a pop-up window will open to enter their name, the account name, the opportunity amount, the expected close date, and the sales stage. If you opt to create a case, then a pop-up window will open and ask for the subject, the account name, the priority, the status, and a description. When the option is chosen to create an opportunity or a new case, then an account name will need to be entered and searched for within Sugar CRM. Just enter the name and click search. Once found, the account information will populate the available fields. If you receive more than one result, then simply select the correct results to have it loaded. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this tutorial covering the G-Link Chrome extension and are well on your way to becoming an expert user. 
Feel free to come back to these videos anytime that you need a refresher, or if you need any further assistance, then contact the Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks.